Hello my hunter friends. Thanks for joining me, the Whiskey Hunter at the Linen Closet. We're going to do something a little bit different today. Um, normally, you know, I pour my uh, whiskey well before I do my review, give it a chance to open up. This time we're going to pour it in front of you because it really doesn't need much time to open up. Why? Because this is totally different. So, <clears throat> some of you may recognize this big box. Um, I was told this drinks like a whiskey. Now, I am not, um, I don't drink much of the white juice, um, but we are today for this review. Uh, this is a Don Julio 1942 big box tequila. Um, they said if you're ever going to drink something other than whiskey and you want to drink the whiskey man's tequila, this is it. Comes in this uh, really nice, elegant bottle. It's tall. Um, I have not tasted this yet. I did uh, take the wrapper off so I'd save time. This is the bottle, Don Julio, 1942. Uh, the bottle's colored. I don't know much about whiskey. I mean, uh, well, let's take that back. We do know a lot about whiskey, but we don't know a lot about tequila. Other than drinking it when I was young and not having a good experience. Let's uh, pour this for you. I don't think I've ever poured a dram on the cam before, camera. So let's pour a bit. There we go. Well, that's kind of a gold color. Light gold. We'll look at it again more closely. Give it a chance to sit. Doesn't need to sit that long, though. All right. Uh, before I talk to you about uh, the hunt and the bottles I found, I'm going to review this next week. One of the members of my... Uh, uh, Facebook group mentioned that he had this just the other day and said this was one of the best whiskeys he's ever tasted and this gentleman has a lot of whiskey and if he says this is the best he's ever tasted uh, I believe him now I've had some of this before it's been a while so fortunately I didn't drink the whole thing I can revisit it and I'm going to in the next review um, this is a Springbank 30 year Distilled in 1972, bottled in 2002 by Chieftains, 57.8% ABV. It's a uh, but, sherry butt cask, cask number 410. Uh, and, uh, or this is a, oh no, it's, uh, it's bottle number 410 out of 576 bottles. Um, I've got, a pour of this left. I doubt we'll ever find another bottle of this, but uh, I remember being good, but I didn't put down notes at the time on it. Well, let's talk about this hunt. This is three years ago, maybe a little longer. And uh, this is another Craigslist find. This guy um, told me that he was uh, formerly worked for the distribution company of this uh, beverage company. He no longer worked there and got these bottles uh, back when they first came out. These bottles came out in 2007. You may be familiar with the BT, the BTAC series, that stands for Buffalo Trace Antique Collection. And that includes the Pappy Van Winkles and um, W.L. Weller, um, Thomas Handy. Uh, there's a number of other uh, bottles that are included in this. They're very allocated, very allocated bottles. They come out here, I think, in around October or so. Well, most stores don't get them. The few that do get just a couple bottles. And a lot of the stores are already charging secondary prices when they sell them, which are just 
ridiculous. But some people spend them, they have the money to do that. Um, I don't pay secondary prices, it's too much for me. However, so I, I corresponded with this guy on uh, uh, Craigslist, and uh, back then there were really very few bottles published on then, published on there, and um, we talked for a couple weeks and we ended up meeting at a uh, coffee shop. He had this and he had a, um, oh, a 25 year old. He brought it along for me to taste, it tasted like gasoline. Um, in any case, I got two bottles here, and this is the THH, otherwise known as Thomas H. Handy Sazerac Rye. This is the second year released in 2007. Um, they go, uh, probably the secondary pricing for this is $350 a bottle maybe. I'm guessing this bottle being, being the second year of release is probably around valued around 500 ish or so I'm guessing um, in any case he had two of these and he let me have these for a hundred dollars so that was a good deal a few years ago today it's even a better deal these are pretty strong a hundred and 34.8 proof, 67.4 ABV. Straight rye whiskey, barrel proof. Beautiful. All right, Don Julio. The color, as we said, is a very, very pale gold. Um, this 1942 is, uh, represents the year it was, uh, Don Julio was founded by Don Julio Gonzalez. These are uh, uh, distilled in ex-bourbon casks. They're aged two and a half years from what I understand is a fairly long time for a tequila. Um, it's an Añejo, which... I had to look up, I didn't know what that meant, which means aged, uh, blue agave plant. I don't think they put color in tequila, I could be wrong. If they did, they sh I don't know, I, I thought most tequila is white in any case, but uh, this is like olive gold. Um, they aged the plants for this tequila seven to ten years. Then they roast it slowly for a total of 70 hours in traditional brick ovens. And then it's distilled, it's double distilled in a stainless steel pot still. Let's, uh, let's see what it knows is like. Ooh. Well, at first it reminds me a bit of rum, more than what I remember tequila smelling like. It's sweet. It's got a kind of a buttery nose to it. I'm picking up some tropical fruits. I don't know what agave, the agave plant uh, smells like. That could be the, the uh, aromatic from that plant. I suppose it is. I do pick up some vanilla. Yeah, I'm picking up more of the fruit. And I, I pick up a sweetness like a caramel. I wouldn't expect, well, I wouldn't expect a nose of tequila. We always check the legs. Well, I'll tell you that I don't think there are legs because it's just uh, it's just running down in no uniform pattern. It's just uh, it tears and runs like a newborn baby crying. There's nothing to the tears except more crying. Let's try it on the palate.
Tequila, who would have thunk? It's 40% ABV. It's got a lot of tingle in the mouth for 40%. I'm not repulsed like I remember tequila uh, being for me, as well as gin. It is, it's got a silky feel in the mouth. I really, uh, I have to taste it again. I, I'm, I'm just so shocked I'm drinking this. <laughs> I didn't even really uh, interpret the taste. Let's uh, let's take another taste. Didn't know what to expect. It's been so long. Well, there is fruits in it. It does not taste very complex to me. I do remember that alcohol tequila taste I am getting from it that um, was off-putting to me in my younger life when I was drinking it. I do get some brown sugar and some, uh, some oak. Uh, like I said, it's aged two and a half years in ex-bourbon casks. Um, there's some vanilla, but not the vanilla that I'm used to from a bourbon um, or aged um, scotch in ex-bourbon casks. I think the nose is much better than the taste for me. The nose is really uh, sweet. And inviting. Let's try another taste. I mean, it's it's all right. Um, you know, with what folks have been telling me about this and of course there are people that drink tequila this is one of the very very finest there is and it very well may be um, being that I really have nothing to compare it to I don't even remember what Bacardi tastes like um, it's definitely uh, it doesn't dance on my palate like uh, a scotch whiskey does or even a Japanese whiskey, or a Korean whiskey, or any whiskey. Um, it's all right. It's it's not something that I typically pour and sit there and drink. Um, evidently, now I have a bottle of it. Would love to share it with my friends. If you're out there, you live by me, you know me, come on over. Let's have some Don Julio 1942. Um I think I'd have to rate this. I mean, I don't have a tequila rating and a malt rating and a blend rating. I just rate it how I like it. And I'm going to have to rate this about a... a 77. It's, uh, it's just, you know... It's not whiskey. It's like discolored water. But that nose is really nice. I wish it tasted just like the nose. Again, those legs just beating up all over the glass. Not, uh, not, not. Nothing sticking to the glass. Well, could be a reason I'm not drinking tequila as a, a regular drink. 
Hey, thanks for joining me. Um, this was an unusual review with an unusual hunt that wasn't whiskey and a, a, a reviewing a tequila that's not whiskey. And But next week, we'll get back to it with a 30-year spring bank distilled in 1972, considered one of the best years of distillation for whiskey. Thanks for joining me. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please do. If you enjoyed this, please like and please share this with your friends. Below is my uh, link to my blog, which you can read um, different stories and different information about whiskey and other such things. Uh, there's an Instagram and a Twitter account below where I post pictures and tweet out uh, stuff. Thanks for joining me on the Linen Closet. I look forward to seeing you next time. Take care. Have a great day, night, and week. Bye now.